Hello everybody and welcome to my next game development uh, video update. Now this update isn't just going to be awesome, it is going to be awesome possum. And I don't know why I just said that, but it is 5.25 in the morning. I am tired as hell, so if I say a bunch of foolishness, just, just allow me because it is so early. Anyways, um... So I'm up working on my game, whatever, and I was working on my uh, on my event system, and I finally got it to kind of like a stable state. You know what I mean? It's not perfect, but uh, the uh, it's it's good enough for now. So right now, all I got is the conversation event and the transfer event. Um, so I'm gonna. This is my uh event tile or whatever. So um, it is a character whatever I, I'm gonna replace it with a character after um it's gonna be able to move and stuff like that um I've added in collisions and stuff like that um nothing special uh so when we press the command key it fades out and it transfers the player to his position that I specified and then I said after that transfer event to call a conversation event so it says hello welcome to the world pavilion where everything comes to life um, the creator of this and uh, is Coding Made Easy. You can visit his website, CodingMadeEasy.ca, and you click that again. You can start moving again. So there's not a lot, but to me, this update system means a lot to me. I think um, I worked hard on it. Uh, it was I I did it so many different other ways, and I think this way that I have it now is is a good way that I have it um it can be stable and and hopefully I can do a lot with it uh so for those of you who are curious to see how I'm doing this well basically I have a I have a tile event class which basically is just like regular tiles um but instead they're tiles that can handle events and then I have an event manager that um just let me show you my event manager so uh, let me zoom in for you guys so i have an event manager that basically loads in the event tiles um and loads in all this um stuff that we need uh so i have um an event list where basically we have the id of the actual event and what happens so this one we transfer to this map right here and the position on the map uh i put sp for starting position and for our conversation, this is the first text that comes up. The semi, um, the colons, um, separates them, and this is the second text that comes up. Okay. And if we look at my actual map, so in our event listing, we specify, um, what event it is. We specify which image it is, right? And I have a, I have a file called image list, which will. In this image list, it will give us the directory, if it's a sprite sheet, um, if it's a tile sheet or not, the tile area. It gives us all this stuff, right, stored into one file, so I don't have to specify that each time I specify a new event. So I have a file that handles that, and then when you let, when you trigger the event, it comes to this event list file, gets the events that you want to trigger, then it puts it into an event queue. And the event queue processes processes each event and does what event is supposed to do, and then it goes back to being able to play the game. So, um, just so you guys can see, like again, I guess. So, I think it's kind of buggy because I think when you run it for the first time. I'm not sure. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. Not really sure. Uh, so there, there are some things that have gone wrong. So I have to work on that. But all in all, it's pretty good. Um, why oh, change? That's that's why. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Anyways, all in all, everything is um going good um in my game development and for as for tutorials tutorials will be coming soon time uh will be coming very soon 
Uh, but yeah, I'll look out for that. But that's it for this game development uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you gained something from it. And that's it for now. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you ever have questions, you can comment below. Or you can always post on my website. So that's it. And bye.